Good evening everyone, this is Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns and I have a little baby girl here and uh, she is a custom doll that I just finished and I'm doing a little box packing. I thought that would be fun to do and share with all of you and um, so that's what we're going to do right now. And but I thought I'd show you this baby before I get her all done. I can't she anyway. Okay. This is my little Harley. She's Melody Hess's sculpt. And it's Harley. And she came out a few years ago. She's 18 inches. She's a sleeper. She has full arms and full legs. And she's just a little bundle of cuteness, actually. I had a lot of fun doing this. She's just a baby baby. She's all, almost would be almost a preemie, but she's almost a re uh, newborn, too. So she's kind of in between that. And what she's wearing right now is um, a newborn, little Carter's newborn outfit. And I wanted, I'm going to take that off of her because we're going to put her in her, what she's going to go home with, and then we'll pack her all up. And her hair is uh, a beautiful, soft, wavy mohair. And it just, it just can, you can see how it curls on the side if you want it to. If you want it to go straight, you can. I don't have my spray bottle right here of water to, to slick it down. So. But that's okay. She's going home, so she's going to have a little travel head. But that's her um, swirl, if you all can see that. I'm hoping you can. Um, of her hair. Oh, hold on. I just tell you, I've lost all my film filming capabilities. Okay, anyway, that's her little swirl. And this is the other side of her hair. And like I said, it can go, she can go back, she can go, you know, can go forward. You, you slick it down a lot and then just let it dry and it'll stay in the, it'll stay in that particular style that you want. It's very lovely mohair. It's very easy to deal with and it's a lovely color. And she has rooted eyelashes, as you can see. And she has a lot of detail on her head and a lot of detail all over her body. Um, the uh, new mommy wanted her to be a newborn look. So uh, she is a newborn and she is, so you can see she has her veins and her capillaries there. And there's capillaries on her eyes and some on the side of her cheeks. And um, she has a part, little partly open mouth, which is darling. And she's just kind of, you know how uh, newborns will sleep with their hands out or however. And uh, she does that great. Anyway, and then she has some modeling on her arms. There's a good picture of her. And she has some modeling on her arms and veining and all that kind of good stuff. So you can see the baby. But what I'm going to do is back out and I'm going to change her now and get her all ready to go and this mommy is in the reborn community and people watch her videos all the time and she's a really really nice lovely lady that I have enjoyed getting to know and work with um, she's just she's funny and she's liked everything I've done so that's been really great and I've got her, I put her in a body, um, upgraded her body a bit. Um, oh, there we go. We've got real messy hair now, huh? Everybody can see that forehead of yours. Let's go in. We can see all the detailing on the forehead. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, yes, I got this wonderful body that I actually got it from um, Bountiful Baby and it's um, their upgraded body and it's it's just it's just wonderful it just fits her perfect it's very good quality has a nice little 
um, ruched butt. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and get her dressed to go home. And I like my babies to go home um, in a sleeper to protect their arms and their legs and all that stuff, you know, as they're going home. And I always, just as a habit, put a, a onesie underneath that my babies protect their body a little bit. And I just did this as a mom, too. You know, I just always had onesies on my babies or t-shirts. Um, I just felt that was important. I don't know why, you know. Um, but when they were, they, you know, they just would have a little t-shirt or something on underneath their clothes. So we're going to put this little onesie, which is a newborn Carter's and has a little bear on the front, so it's very cute. It's a little big. She could probably get by with some preemies clothes, too. But this is a Carter's newborn uh, little sleeper, which has the snaps. I don't like zippers. And so we found that the other day. And I'll tell you while I'm getting this on her, I had ordered something off of Etsy and it you know they had a photo of it and it was a beautiful wrap and a lace bonnet it was like the skull cap bonnet you know I mean it was tight to the head and it just looked really cute and nice and so I waited 10 days to get that because I thought that would be just perfect for this little girl and um, it would be great for her uh, photos too well I don't even know what to say but I got that thing and it was so cheap I was so disappointed and then I went to check out the ties that they had and I barely pulled the uh, one tie and honest to gosh that whole thing fell apart so I'm just gonna I have the receipt I'm gonna return it but I was very disappointed so we just kind of went and did what we needed to do and got some different things for her. And I like bright colors and this is a summer spring and I think she looks will look very cute in it. So we're getting her all ready to go and snap her up. She's matted very well, too, because I, I don't want any cracking paint later or peeling or anything like that, or mostly shine. I just take a lot of time to do my babies, and it takes me a while to do custom, but uh, this, her new mommy was very patient, I just have to tell you, and we went through puppies and everything else with this, but she was very, very patient with me. And I can just tell you that I appreciated that so much. And let's see. I think we'll go ahead. And I'm going to use this on her, her little hair. I don't. You, this is Carol's daughter, Hair Milk. And it is very nice and it's conditioning. I only really use water. But I can't seem to find my bottle. I want to get her hair down. And um, you can see how cute and how manageable her hair is. And maybe we can just show you a few little fun things. And I basically use a toothbrush um, on their hair. And... For these little guys like this, using a toothbrush is wonderful, you know, to brush their hair out, get all of the um, little trendles of hair where they're supposed to go, and her mommy can do a lot with her. She has enough up here to put a little 
cur little curls in if they she wants curls on the side look at that is that the cutest thing look at that girl I just think she's just just completely adorable I got this kit a while ago I was gonna do it for myself because I love Melody Hess's kits and um, uh, Harley was a very very popular one back in the day and a lot of really good artists did this sculpt there's and um, oh my goodness yes well we'll let that dry while we show your other stuff oh my yes what a good girl she's so cute and so I ended up finding one on doll fan and I grabbed it because you know they don't come up often and I've had her for this kit for a few years and then when her mommy contacted me we kind of discussed things and I said well I have a starling little um, sleeper it's a tiny one and she that's what she wanted so and I think she's very happy okay so little Missy here I don't know what her name's gonna be is ready to get wrapped up and go but so we're gonna I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna put in her box what's gonna go home with her I found her mom I noticed on one of her videos that she said she loves dresses on her little babies and she loves vintage well I found this one and it's a carriage boutique it's like Feltman Brothers and it's um, a darling um, pink with rosebuds and smocking and it's the top and it it does it, it buttons in the back has little puff sleeves and that one's gonna go with her fold that up and then these are the little pants that are gonna go home with her that they have the feet in them though that match this and she I tried this on her and she looks very cute in that and then what she was wearing for her photo shoot that I took on Instagram and some of you have seen that already um, is her aqua or yeah her aqua swan little sleeveless uh, knit dress from Carter's that I picked up yesterday and she looks very cute in that and she has her sleeper of course and then I picked this up and I don't I don't really know how we're gonna put this pack this but I think it's gonna go like this alright here is the the onesie in a little bag and it says love you and it's a short sleeve white onesie size newborn and it goes with this outfit it goes underneath and this is a little uh, I'm at a loss now muslin um, little jacket a light jacket with kitties and uh, rainbows and bows on it and it has some nice little leggings that go with that so and this has ruffles on the top she's gonna look very cute in that and it's kind of a versatile outfit so she'll be able to um, get a lot of uses and I want to give kudos to Kimberly of Kimberly Cook's Cocoon and I watch her back I watch her box or box packings excuse me I've also watched her box openings of some of the dolls she's got um, and she is oh well she is beyond organized that girl she has everything laid out and it's just lovely to watch her do this and sorry folks but that is not me <laughs> anyway but I'm gonna we'll put that in there but I don't like these bulky hangers and so there we go and then she has her onesie underneath that and I believe oh you know her little feet are so small um and I found these cute little ballet slippers and um, 
sockies and they're going to go in with the batch and I don't know but she will look cute gray is kind of a popular color she can even wear it with um, this jacket here if she wants to but it's a beanie with a um, little flower on it that she might like and we cannot forget her lovey so I'll cut these annoying tags and leave that one on here's her little bunny lovey I found that and I thought it was just so cute has um, two-toned ears with a little satin bow and it's perfect for a newborn so she has her lovey and she has a pacifier that we'll put up and we have um, we have a couple we have two or three headbands I'm sending home with her as well this is the green one that goes um, with her dress that she was wearing the seafoam green and then we have a pink one this is these look very cute on her as well and then we have the gray and the cream there's the cream one and here is the gray one And let's see, I think, okay, I think that's, and then I got this for her mommy. It's a, um, it's a nice uh, natural hand cream lavender, and boy, it is, it smell good. And I love the, I love the print on here with the birds and the flowers, and her mommy's going to the Rose Doll Show. So she might want to take this in her purse to keep her hands from getting too dry. Because believe me, in Utah, I lived there for quite a few years. It uh, it gets very dry. Um, alrighty, and here's the blanket. Got her a muslin blanket that's going to go home with her. She's going to be all wrapped up in that. So right now we're going to start I'm going to start putting um, some things where they need to go so let's see I have I thought well you know what I like all kinds of different colors so maybe we'll do purple for the uh, or lav it's more of a lavender I think um, to wrap the items up in so we'll go ahead and uh, I'm doing this so awkward I know I know I just appreciate all of you hanging in there with me but what we're gonna do is that's not gonna work so we're just gonna fold that up I have discovered the dollar store for baby items for I mean like tissue paper cute tissue paper and little bags oh my they're fun okay head get this ready because then you guys get to see where this all goes and that's going to be the fun part okay and this all kind of goes with her mom her mommy's uh, cream too okay so then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these two together in one tissue paper they're kind of they're very light and I just don't, hmm. I'm 
just checking this out. It's been sitting out, so I just want to make sure everything is A-OK -okay with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put this down. I just don't want to have any fuzz or anything that might. This seems to have collected a few things. Anyway, well. I wanted to have this because it's going to look cute. But, okay. Now, we're going to put her little new dress in here. And I think we'll go ahead and put her beanie on top of that. I had a little bit of a different idea but about putting these in a bag that I found at the dollar store that was very cute but it's not going to work. The bag will make it not fit in her little trunk that she's going to go home with. I didn't, not really, I am not really wrapping these that great, am I? Okay, well, we get the general idea, don't we, ladies? Ha! <gasps> okay. Fix that up. Yep. Okay, so we have that. Now, Where's my bag? Oh, here it is. I found these little uh, bags. They're so stinking cute at the dollar store with the babies on them. Is that cute? And here's another one. I just, I adore this vintage vibe, too. So in this one, we're going to put all of her headbands. I know there was another one. And we're going to put her socks. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll even put her pacifier right in there. And so then we'll just let's put that like that. So she makes sure I did this right. I've got her socks in here. I've got four headbands and one pacifier. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and tape this over the side like that. Okay, so we got that done. What else do we have left? I think that is just about it. I have, um, oh, yes. You wonder about the sachets that people make? Well, I'm just going to even show you how it's done. Woohoo! We got all of them. Okay, you go to the dollar store and you. They have a, quite a selection of these little sachet bags. Pink, lavender, white, red, you name it. And they have different sizes. <clears throat> and then I got this at Bye Bye Baby. So it was these drift. This is actually the drift sachets and you're just going to open your sachet and you're going to put some of these in there. Little drift pellets. Yep. 
and then tie your knot so it doesn't come out and they get all over the place. And there we go. So, now let's get our baby ready to be put where she needs to be. So, I'm going to take all these things down. Her clothes, and her headbands and pacifiers and socks. And let's see. I'm going to get her blankie. Okay, I think we'll put Bunny over here. And least one last look, guys, at her pretty little hair, little face. Say bye-bye, but you will see her again, I guarantee. So, what I'm going to do is I am no expert at swaddling babies, that is for sure, but this is one of those things. So we're going to do our best. Don't laugh. I'm sure it is a laughing. I'm sure you will be laughing. But we're going to put her like this. And I think you go like that. You put the thing down like that. Okay. And then you take this side or something and you put this arm down and you put that arm up and you go all the way around here like this uh -huh. and then you take this this is so big you're going to take this and you tuck it in here like that you have that other anyway it's close enough isn't it and then I'm going to lift her up and pull this around like this side over here oh she smells good and tuck it right in there that's her neck okay doesn't she look like the cutest little bundle Look at that bundle. I don't, this is the hard part. This is the hard part, is when you've worked so much on a baby, and then um, you have to, you know, you say goodbye to her, and they just look so cute. Anyway, okay, so we have a little pamper to put over her head. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't put plastic on my baby's hair. I don't put plastic on my baby's head or face. I don't put plastic anywhere near the lamps. And the reason why is because I do not want that plastic to sweat and to compromise the paint in any way. Not that it would because she's sealed so well, but I don't ever want to take the chance. So I just gently put this Pampers diaper over her because I'm not really big on Honest, because Honest has some kind of chemical that can leach out if it gets even sweaty or damp or at all and cause problems with the paint, and discolor the paint. So, um, I have not heard that about Pampers, but there's my little girl. We'll leave her, her hairs in there. So there she is. Oh my gosh, she looks like a little hospital patient. Okay, I'm going to move her over here, guys. Actually, I'm... And because we have... Her little box that she's going to go home in. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. It says here on the top, her little trunk, You are our greatest adventure. It's in gray, and you can see the cute little yellow birds. And then there's stars on the side. And then on the front, it says, You make me happy. And there's the little lion with the bird. And on the side, it says, Dream a big little one. Dream a... Uh, yes, dream big little one. 
Okay, are you still there? My, uh, it actually stopped. And then this one says the same thing. So now we're going to pack this up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put um, put some paper down. I gotta get it open first. Oh man, where's my scissors now? I don't. Okay, that's fine. So I guess we'll go ahead and we'll go with um, the the hot paint. I'm just gonna line line this bottom a little for the mom to the baby and the mom okay now do you think this would go in? I ha I'm holding her so I'm kind of doing this with one hand alright well that's good enough because we got to get little Miss Harley all bundled up and in here so here she goes guys She's going right in here. Oh, and, sma and I'm smashing all. Oh, well. Oh, okay. That's fixed. So you see, the space inside is not that big. So we need to get everything in here. That's why I couldn't put that bag in here. So here's her two dress outfits. I'll just stick that down on the side. Here's her... Carter's outfit that has the little jacket and everything with it. Okay. Here's her mom's little present. And we'll go ahead and I think I'm going to have to well, I have a, this is pretty deep so that'll be alright. And then I have her little smelly good. She smells good too. She has a a wafer inside her and then here is her little bag that has her socks her pacifier and her headbands are all in there so we can put that like that and then we cannot forget her, her bunny hmm no that worked better there so we're going to have to get a little ingenious about this. Okay, I'm just going to lay Mr. Bunny his tag right there. Her. It's a her. Oh, she looks so snuggy. And I don't put the plastic um, over her in here. I don't wrap her with bubble wrap because this is protecting her. And this will be um, covered up with a few things once it's in the box. Okay, the final thing. Everybody is, of course, here's her COA. She's number 33 of 500. Wow, that's a great number. So that's going. And here's her birth certificate from me. I don't know what her name is. She can fill that in when she has a chance, but it's Ruby Rose Reborns. And I put in who she was. Um when she was date of birth, the date of adoption, five pounds, five ounces, and she's 18 inches. And I went and got her pictures done, and some of them came out kind of dark, but they're still nice. Anyway, I got um, uh, some pictures. I got myself some pictures so I can have it for my scrapbook. So she'll get all of these pictures of her baby. And... Um, if you saw Katie's from My Little World, her when I did uh, Gabe for her, she I did this same thing, and she. Uh, but I have it. I put one of these will go in the front of the card, which is that photo card, and then everything will go in there. But I didn't have a chance to get that out yet, so that will come later. But anyway, that is our little girl going home to her mommy and I won't be publishing this until and this is my favorite picture of her this one will go on in the photo frame okay so we'll leave that on all top okay so all this will go in her 
and in a box and we can go ahead and close this up now and I think she looks very cute in that yeah and we'll just go ahead and lock this up and our little girl is ready to go home and I will go ahead and put her birth certificate and everything in the box when I get the card made but there she is thank you so much for watching this box packing I know it takes a while to do it so thank you for all of your um, patience and we will be back later. Thank you. Bye. And I will post this after she has had a chance to open this and do her own video. Thanks.